Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a very simple, quick and easy, throw all your veggies that are old in the fridge together kind of meal and that is my ginger malt stir fry with the side of rice and it's going to be served with some air fryer three ingredient crispy tofu. This recipe is easy to follow, it's quick and it's very cheap to make as well. So let's start preparing. For our ingredients, I have a whole bunch of veggies that were going a little bit to the left in the fridge. I have a part of butternut that needed to be used, half an onion that was cut up and not finished, some carrot, three mushrooms, you'll see how random these, these veggies are, a bit of red pepper and yellow pepper, and I also have some snap peas as well. And now I'm just gonna cut up my vegetables so that I can use them. You can use whatever vegetables you prefer. If you have broccoli, you can use broccoli. Um, just have to keep in mind the different cooking times of the different types of vegetables. So now we're going to start with our onion. Our onion, I'm just going to cut it into thin slices. Next, we're going to be also using garlic. This is optional. You don't have to make um, use garlic since the start of our sauce today is ginger. But I love garlic too much not to use it. I'm just going to be using much more ginger than this so that you can also taste the ginger. And I also think that garlic and ginger complement each other pretty well. Actually, here's a trick for those of you that don't like to use knives peel your butternut you can just use a peeler i actually only recently found this out that's why i'm so excited to show this to you for anybody out there who needs the advice okay if you knew this already since you were born good for you some of us only found out this year okay and done now i don't have to cut myself i've cut myself so many times cutting butternut and like pumpkin and things with hot skins so it's good that there's other solutions out there you're welcome as small as possible so that they cook faster but not too small that you don't know what you're eating there we go and those are all our veggies that we've chopped up that we're going to use up and now we're just going to move on to our pan It's very important that if you use tofu, unless you really don't care, you press out the liquid so that it helps improve the texture of the tofu. I'm just going to spill this. That's how much water there was. Imagine. Okay, and now we're making our sauce. First, we are going to cut up our tofu into cute little blocks. We're only using one block of tofu for this recipe. If you like more tofu, you can use more tofu, but I'm just using one block. I just pressed this one because I want to use it for something else later. Now I'm just drying them just to ensure. Oh, look at them. Hello. That they're a little bit dry. Yeah. Okay. Now, since we're making, since we're making a three ingredient tofu, the three ingredients that we're using are nutritional yeast, some oyster sauce, and some garlic powder. Now, we need two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm gonna put in the second tablespoon after we've already put in our soy sauce so it can catch a bit more. We need half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I know my, th my life, guys, this is half a teaspoon, I know.
gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna finally put in our last tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And then we're gonna transfer this into our air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can definitely use an oven. An air fryer is basically a small little convectional oven, really, if you want to be specific. Now we're going to transfer our little tofus into the air fryer. We're going to space them out so that they don't, so that they each get crispy enough, because I, I really want, this is three ingredient crispy tofu. It's called crispy for a reason. We don't call it crispy for no reason, okay? Let me put it in. There's this disrespectful fly that keeps me in a fast forward. Don't worry, it's self in the frame. Now I'm going to put this in the oven at 200 degrees, my highest temperature, for 10 to 15 minutes, checking on it. But grating it makes the flavor more um, potent and yeah more potent in the sauce. And then we need three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Three tablespoons of oyster sauce. This is the malt we're using from Body Care. You can get it at your local clicks or checkers or just check in the, the health section we need three tablespoons of this Our last tablespoon. Oof, almost fell there. And this is the sesame oil I'm using. The reason why I didn't fry the vegetables in sesame oil first is because sesame oil does not, it, it really doesn't work well with too much heat. Ooh, I need one tablespoon of sesame oil. So putting in after the vegetables are caramelized allows it not to have to do that. Habanero chilies, they're very very hot. <laughs> you can smell how hot they are from here. Um, and since I'm making this spicy, I'm going to be adding in about three quarters, half a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon of it. It's totally optional, you don't have to add this as well, just like me. You don't have to be like me, guys. Give this a mix. Videos. Now that our onions have caramelized, but we're just going to add in a little bit of sesame oil just to get things nice, nice and nice and oily. Oh, that does not sound nice. Nice and fryy. Now we're going to add in the rest of our vegetables. We're adding in butternut squash and our carrot. Our veggies are starting to caramelize. We're going to add in some water. Closing it like that will help the butternut to steam a bit and cook a bit more faster. Yeah, our butternut is soft enough. Now we're going to add in all our other veggies, all of them. Is 
it's hot or cold this one. That's crisp. Oh, some of them got stuck. It's okay, I'll release you. Oh. Thank you.